space explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go. And we have movement on both sides of the field. We have two members of the Blue Alliance and all three members of the Red Alliance moving across the Hab line as this sandstorm is commencing. Drivers cannot see onto the field, but now they can as the curtains are drawn up and the teleoperate period has begun. 30, 62, picking up a piece of cargo in their possession while 6032 trying to install a hatch panel on the side of the Red Alliance cargo ship. 6032 still trying to struggle with it there and they're able to get it on and they clear the cargo ship. 3062 with a piece of cargo actually getting helped a little bit by 4269 because they're bumping them into place. And they are there. The cargo is delivered by 3062 and 4269 still trying to play spoiler over for the Red Alliance. Red Alliance, all three members of their team hard at work. 72, 74 over at the Blue Alliance loading station, picking up a hatch panel. Meanwhile, 4269 trying to install a hatch panel. 3062 with, with cargo in their possession, trying to deliver it on the side of the cargo ship. They've got it high and they bloop it over and the car goes in for the Red Alliance and another one just on the edge of 6032, a well-timed hit just in time for 4269 to make it so 6032 couldn't get that cargo in there. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Red Alliance cargo ship, 4050 able to deliver another piece of cargo as the Red Alliance pulls ahead by a thin margin of two. It looks like team 4269 still trying to slow down the Red Alliance while their alliance partners, 3269, trying to deliver some cargo into the first level of the rocket. But with just over 20 seconds left to play, we are running out of time and it is still a tight one. Red Alliance still holding on to a two point lead as we only have 15 seconds left to play. Team 4050 in front of the third HAB platform. Red Alliance is holding on to a slight lead, but the Blue Alliance...